After death, human consciousness does not disappear, but it does not enter an afterlife either. It transitions into another reality, a parallel universe, which many mistakenly perceive as the afterlife. In reality, it is a completely different world, confirming that life beyond our earthly existence exists and is far more astonishing than we can imagine. This conclusion was reached by scientist Robert Lanza, who supports the theory of biocentrism, which asserts that death is only an illusion created by our consciousness. People believe in the inevitability of death simply because they are told so. Lanza believes that death does not mark the absolute end of life, but rather a transition into a parallel reality. According to his theory, there are many universes into which the soul can transition after physical death. The hypothesis of multiple universes, which gained popularity within the framework of quantum physics, suggests that our world consists of an infinite number of parallel worlds. This means that our physical reality, which seems unique, is in fact only one of many possible variations. According to Lanza, there are countless such universes in which different events take place and people exist in their unique versions. Many are convinced that life is merely the chemical activity of carbon and molecules. However, Lanza brings up the example of our perception of the world. We see the sky as blue, but if the functioning of brain cells were altered, its color could become green or red. This proves that space and time are not objective phenomena, but tools created by our minds. Thus, what we perceive as reality is only a subjective representation of it. In order to decipher the mysteries of the surrounding world, one must rethink the usual perspective. This approach not only allows us to see many new things, but also to understand death from a different perspective. From the point of view of biocentrism, death is merely a deceptive image created in our consciousness. Since people identify with their bodies, they know that the body ages and eventually dies over time. This is closely related to the fundamentals of quantum mechanics, according to which a particle can be in multiple places at once, and events can unfold along different possible paths. It is known that there are countless universes where different variants of events take place. In one universe, the body dies, while in another, it continues to live. Our consciousness simply shifts into another reality, where it takes on a new form of existence. Of course, there is no guarantee that the form of life in other universes will be the same as in ours. Perhaps the soul in these worlds takes on a completely different form, one that is difficult for us to imagine. Lanza believes that consciousness is a form of energy. And as we know, energy does not disappear without a trace and is not created out of nothing. The same applies to consciousness. It cannot vanish or be destroyed. However, the human body still dies, and this is a natural process that is difficult to contradict. It is possible, however, that consciousness remains for a certain time in the form of electrical impulses running through neurons in the brain. Studies show that this energy can transfer from one world to another. Lanza based his research on an experiment that proved scientists can influence the behavior of microparticles with the power of thought. This confirms that consciousness can influence reality. According to the scientist, reality is a process in which our participation plays a significant role. Thus, no matter what we do, we are simultaneously both observers and participants in the events that unfold. Proponents of the theory of biocentrism argue that the results of the experiment show that the connection between the experiment and daily life goes beyond the usual concepts of space and time. Space and time are not material entities, but merely conceptual tools that we use to describe the world. Everything you are currently perceiving is a flow of information passing through your consciousness. Space and time are merely means of measuring abstract and concrete phenomena. If this is indeed the case, death loses its meaning. Einstein also wrote something similar. My old friend has left this strange world a little earlier than I did. It means nothing. We know that the difference between the past, present, and future is only an illusion. Immortality, in his view, is not tied to infinite existence within the time frame, but rather to existence beyond it. 
Followers of biocentrism believe that people are currently in a kind of sleep. Everything around us is ordered and predictable. Our external world is merely a fantasy created by the mind. Lanza said, We have been taught that we are simply a collection of cells and that we die when our bodies wear out. But numerous scientific experiments show that our belief in death is based on a false conception of the world existing independently of us. According to the scientist, physical life is not a coincidence, but predetermined. Even after death, consciousness continues to exist in the present, balancing between the past and an uncertain future as a movement between different realities. After death, each of us must climb the stairway to eternity, and this stairway could be anywhere. A no less shocking discovery in the field of quantum physics, which deals with the topic of life after death, was made by two scientists, one of whom received the Nobel Prize. When they announced their findings, both the scientific and spiritual communities were astonished, as there may have been, for the first time in human history, an intersection between skeptics who deny the existence of the afterlife and those who believe in it. Moreover, both sides received scientific confirmation that the hope for life after death is not an empty fantasy, but a very real and natural fact that does not contradict the nature of the universe. The scientific community had long been divided into two irreconcilable camps. Those who completely denied the existence of the soul and life after death, and those who acknowledged this possibility and dared to explore the subject, despite the mockery of their colleagues. However, with the development of new technologies and quantum physics, more and more scientists are acknowledging that the afterlife cannot longer be regarded as a myth or fairy tale, but should be seriously investigated. That is exactly what two outstanding scientists did. The first of them is Stuart Hameroff, anesthesiologist, neuroscientist, professor of medicine and psychology, theoretical physicist, and a member of the Center for Consciousness Studies at the University of Arizona. The second is Roger Penrose, mathematician, doctor of philosophy, and recipient of many prestigious awards, including the Nobel Prize in Physics, which he received in the year 2020. It can be agreed that when such outstanding and authoritative scientists as Hameroff and Penrose publicly state that they have proven the existence of the soul and the afterlife, their conclusions truly deserve attention. When they began to investigate the phenomenon of life after death, they decided, before exploring how real the existing afterlife realm is, into which the soul transitions after death, they had to first ensure that the soul itself exists. Because if it does not exist, the discussion of the afterlife loses all meaning. On the other hand, if the soul actually exists, the probability that it continues to exist after leaving the body increases. Otherwise, why would it even exist at all? On this basis, they concluded that the soul is the key to the entire theory of the afterlife and began their research to understand what it actually is, not from a mythological or religious point of view, but as an objective physical phenomenon that can, so to speak, be grasped. The key to this research was quantum physics. Quantum physics has long surpassed traditional concepts, and at a certain point, it inevitably encounters profound esoteric questions, which essentially form the evidence base for principles with which many mystics have worked thousands of years ago. After extensive research, the scientists developed the theory of quantum consciousness, which allowed them to understand what the soul is and why life after death is not only possible, but most likely necessary for the functioning of the universe. Hameroff and Penrose concluded that the human brain can be regarded as a kind of quantum computer and the consciousness that controls it is a type of software. And what is the goal of it? According to the scientists, the task is to gather information on a quantum physical level. This very information is what we call the soul. What is particularly interesting is that this approach does not contradict either quantum physics or the spiritual traditions that have always emphasized that the soul, after undergoing earthly experience, should acquire new knowledge and ultimately return to higher realms of existence. Since the soul is a concentrated mix of information and energy and possesses a subtle form of matter, it cannot be destroyed. Therefore, once the body finishes its existence, the soul continues its journey, which may last infinitely. From this perspective, the separation of the soul from the body seems less fantastical than it may appear at first glance. Hameroff himself said in an interview, 
I'm an anesthesiologist with years of experience. My job is to temporarily remove a person's consciousness and bring it back. So believe me, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Many people who have experienced clinical death reported that their soul could not proceed because something or someone prevented them, explaining that they had not yet gained the necessary experience on earth. These stories now take on new meaning and scientific validation. In other words, the quantum batteries of a person had not yet been fully charged with the necessary information, and they must recharge it. Thus, the soul does not disappear when it leaves the body, but returns to the universe. This is explained by the fact that the soul is an informational and energetic phenomenon that preserves its existence. The scientists believe that the soul is stored as quantum information in microtubules, the protein structures that form the cytoskeleton of every cell. When death occurs, these structures are freed from the information stored in them. As Hameroff himself explained, this process happens as follows. When the heart stops supplying the brain with blood, the microtubules begin to discharge. However, the information that is collected in the microtubules does not disappear. On the contrary, it is released and goes into space. Scientists believe that the soul is an inseparable part of the fabric of the universe. And this view does not contradict either modern science or spiritual teachings. Moreover, Hameroff and Penrose claim that consciousness, or rather its precursors, have always existed in the universe, at least up until the Big Bang, which marked the beginning of our cosmos. This is not just a hypothesis. Roger Penrose is not only known for his achievements in quantum physics, but also for his research on cosmic relic radiation and microwave background radiation that remains after the Big Bang. This data contains information about the origin of the universe. In the research, strange phenomena were recorded, waves that spread concentrically. The source of these waves lies beyond our space and time. What is this source? It could be anything, including God. Perhaps this is where the afterlife, where souls return, is hidden. Notably, the first version of the quantum consciousness theory was introduced to the scientific community at the end of the last century. However, the fundamental ideas of the theory have not yet been refuted. Of course, it does not provide answers to all questions. For example, what happens to the soul if its earthly journey is suddenly interrupted and it cannot return to the body? Or what if it hasn't gained enough experience? These questions remain unanswered, but this is probably just a matter of time. What is important is that the foundation of the theory has already been laid, and in the future, we are likely to receive answers. Today, only the blind do not notice how science and mystical teachings are gradually merging, freeing themselves from misconceptions and prejudices. Perhaps they will soon form a unified, coherent system as it was originally intended. At least quantum physics already claims to be an area where this merger could take place. Write in the comments what you think. Will scientists be able to decode all the secrets of the afterlife and prove its reality? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to not miss any new fascinating videos. Thank you for watching. Wishing everyone long life and good health.